Don't turn off the machine just yet. You can keep Windows 10 alive for a little bit longer. Hello players, welcome back. If your PC is stuck on Windows 10 and the Windows 11 checker keeps tutting at your TPM like a disappointed PE teacher, then good news, you can keep Windows 10 patched for one more year. Official support ends on October 14th, 2025, that's this year, but Microsoft's Extended Security Updates, or ESU, will cover you until October 13th, 2026. Think of it as cling film for a leftover OS. I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments as they happen. If you have no thoughts, that's okay. You can just comment with, it's alive instead. I know what you mean. But of course, there's a catch. You get the free year of extended security updates if you do one thing, and well, two things, and that's sign in with a Microsoft account and turn on Windows Backup or Windows Sync via OneDrive. That unlocks ESU at no extra cost. Now, if you don't fancy sending all of your data to Microsoft for safekeeping, there are some other slightly less free ways you can ride the Windows 10 train until the wheels fall off. You can still enroll in extended security updates by redeeming 1,000 Microsoft points or by paying about $30. All three paths deliver the same one year of security patches. There is just a teeny tiny plot twist that you probably saw coming. Microsoft does require a Microsoft account for ESU even if you pay, because licensing is tied to your account and also capped at 10 devices. So local account enjoyers, I, I do feel your pain. I still have a local account on my Windows 11 machines, but uh, that's the deal that's on the table from Microsoft. I suppose you can take it or leave it. But another deal that's on the table is NordVPN. It won't save Windows 10, but it will protect your privacy online when downloading Linux ISOs or whatever. You can appear as if you're in almost anywhere in the world to watch geoblock content from, from back home while you're traveling or to simply keep your online activity private from your ISP. Privacy is your right and should be protected. The best deal on NordVPN is below and it's something crazy right now, like 73%, uh, I think, off a two year plan. It's insane. But anyway, using that link does help out the channel, so thank you very much. To get the Windows 10 extended security updates, first you need to get Windows 10 updated to version 22H2 by going into the settings, update and security, and Windows update. And then if you haven't already, you need to create a Microsoft account and sign in with it as your as your main account. After that, you flip the switch in the settings on Windows Backup and you turn that on. Now you don't have to sync everything. The minimum sync level is, is enough for, for you to trigger this. You don't have to dump your entire life onto OneDrive. So if you go back to Windows Update after that, there should be an enroll button prompt and you can pick your route, either three free backup, 1000 reward points, which you get from like searching Bing and stuff. So I guess nobody has those and <laughs> Or, or $30, and, and the wizard that Microsoft has does the rest. So coverage will run from October 15th, 2025, up to October 13th, 2026. Yeah, I, they're so petty, they don't wanna do this, they're not even giving you a free year. But I, I think they've been forced. But that's it, and then you're done for a year. Security updates will keep coming all the way through 2026, up until October. But there won't be any new features, this is, this is just armor, really, for your PC. You will get critical and important security updates up to October 13th, 2026. Microsoft Defender antivirus death definitions will keep going through 2028, I believe, on Windows 10. But Microsoft 365 apps will continue to receive security updates until October 2028, but feature updates until August 2026, which is complete BS really, because the point of paying for 365 is that you're paying for rolling updates forever, but that's, that's a separate rant. Anyway, you won't get any new features or regular bug fixes for Windows 10. ESU is a bridge, it's not a forever home, and Windows 10 is gonna go out to pasture at some point. So who should do this? If your PC fails all of the Windows 10 requirements, even the ones that are just fictitious and made up by Microsoft, or you rely on some legacy app or driver or something like that, or just need some more time to migrate without panicking, or, you want to keep a perfectly functioning machine out of landfill for another year. That's a pretty big reason. Now, if extended security updates did keep your Windows 10 machine out of the skip for another year, let us know in the comments and let us know what route you used. Did you go for, for the thousand points, the $30 or sell your soul to OneDrive? 
uh, just let us know below. Also, if anyone has any Windows 7 PCs under their bed, let me know and, and I'll call a museum. Okay, that's it. Keep rolling on Windows 10 and be excellent to each other.